you want to make your text glitch and use it in your videos well at the end of this video you're going to be able to do just that the easiest way possible so that you too can start creating your own videos Hi, my name is Jarvis and welcome to the channel where we bring you the best macro buck gear, the best tips and tricks when it comes to smartphone videography, and the easiest editing tutorials for teens who want to start creating content. So if you want to see more videos like these, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet with those post notifications on so that you'll always be notified whenever I post a brand new video. Now with that said, let's jump right into the 6th episode of Hashtag Filmora Fridays. First, we need to find the text that you like. So let's drag this to our timeline and double click to see its settings. Next, let's type something here. I'll just type the word videography. And then let's change the font to something that has large and bold letters. Let's also change the font size to 100 to make it large and make sure that it's centered. Next, hit OK. Let's right click on this and press copy, then select the second layer by clicking on the left part of the timeline and paste. Let's double click on the first layer and change the font color to black. Next, let's make a cut anywhere between 1 and 2 seconds. Then, let's head on to the transitions tab and search for a transition called deposit up. Now drag this to the first part of the second layer and extend it to cover the whole clip. When we play this, we can start to see the effect coming to life. We can still do a lot more to make this effect look better. So let's bounce this footage. If you don't know what that means, well bouncing is to export a certain clip at a high resolution and bringing it back to the main project. Let's name this as text glitch 01 and make sure that the frame rate is at 30 frames per second. Before we continue, drop a like if you're getting value from this video and tell me in the comment section below what kind of videos are you going to make using this technique. Now let's remove everything from the timeline and import the bounce footage and the image that we're going to use as the background. Drag the image that will be used as the background down in the main video track and drag the bounce footage above it. Let's trim the background layer to make it as long as the second layer and let's extend our timeline. To see the background image, let's double click on the second layer. Under compositing, change the blending modes to lighten and hit OK. Again, we need to make a cut between 1 and 2 seconds. We also need to make a cut before the first cut and another between the two cuts. You can pause the video if you can't keep up. After doing this, head on to the effects tab and select the shake under this drop down arrow. Let's drag the sideways shake effect on the first, second, and third parts of the second layer. Don't add any effects yet to the last part. Then head to distortion and select the chromatic aberration effect. Let's drag it to the second part of the second layer. There's another effect called flip on the same group of effects. Let's also drag it down to the second part of the second layer. Next, double click on the second part and scroll down to video effects. You need to decrease the intensity of the chromatic aberration effect by just a little. Let's hit OK and select the chromatic aberration again and drag it to the third part of the second layer. You're basically done. You can add some more effects such as frames. You can also add a pre-made LUT to the image to make it look better. Finally, let's add this glitch sound effect to top it all off. And here is the results of what we just did. You can now use this technique in your videos. I hope that you got value from this video and if you did, drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet. If you click here, you can check out my previous video where I showed you how to zoom through your text in Filmora 9. And if you click here, you can check out the whole series of Hashtag Filmora Fridays to learn how to achieve various effects in Filmora 9. Well, thanks for watching the 6th episode of Hashtag Filmora Fridays. Again, this is Jarvis. Stay safe and...